So yes, Dad mumbles about his night and lays next to me. He puts his arm over me, thinking that I'm Mom. <laughs> For some reason, I don't say anything. Dude, that's... <laughs> Already, why? I don't know, man. You've been seeming sus lately. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily cringe content anywhere on the internet. Promise swearsies. <gasps> it's just a fact. It's totally science. Go ahead. Look it up. Thanks so much. I thought we'd get into some more 4chan green text today because, you know, it's been a while since we did them. And also, you know... I'm a little bit like too into schizo posting, <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see how it goes today. We'll take the ride. Thank you so much for joining along with me. Be me. Go to one of those farms where they sell produce and have hay rides and all that shit. You know, for the kids. <laughs> Decide to go on a hay ride just for the hell of it. Hay rides are pretty lit, honestly. Have you ever been to the haunted hay ride in LA? I mean, it's the highest production hayride you'll probably ever see. Anyway, <laughs> late fall, so actually a little bit of snow. Surprised that they're still running the hayride. I get on the cart for the hayride, and the hayride starts going off the path. I look around. Oh, fuck, Dot Wave. I should have known. Is it too late to escape? About to make a run for it, when suddenly... Hey, you. You're finally awake. I'm too late. Tidal screen appears. Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Oh, not again. <laughs> Todd Howard, you son of a bitch. You did it again. I wonder if Skyrim really will be like the last good Elder Scrolls game. Imagine Elder Scrolls VI comes out, it's terminally online. This whole games as a service thing that all these AAA companies are trying to lean into. Trust me, like I'm kind of tired of Skyrim, but also <laughs> it's what we get. Anyway, next post. Hello, this is Mandarin House. What would you like to order? Hi, hey, could I get a sweet and sour chicken with a side of chow mein, please? Sure thing. Will that be everything, sir? One sec. Let me ask my pals in the other room. Hey, guys! No response. Eh, uh, I guess that's it. Thanks. Now, is he pretending to have friends, or do his friends just ignore him? Because they're both sad, but one is significantly sadder than the other. The what? Be Lithuanian in the UK. Lived there since I was a child. Speak perfect English in an English accent. When I turned 18, the Lithuanian government tried to conscript me for mandatory military service. They couldn't do so because of Brexit. <laughs> God save. Couldn't go back to Lithuania if I had citizenship, or they'd take me into the military. Fast forward to recently. Idea.jpg. Apply for UK citizenship. Pass my test. Pie and chips. Gif. UK citizen now. No longer bound to Lithuanian conscription. Check the news. UK is considering conscripting young men to fight. <laughs> I mean, that's a bit different than mandatory military service, but yeah. Still sucks if your number comes up. I'm glad I don't have to worry about that bullshit no more. <laughs> I'm too old. I think Eminem said it best. God, the Eminem show. Really the decline of Eminem as far as I was concerned. Or, or maybe I don't really just get that era of hip hop or something. <laughs> so yeah, sucks to suck. Good luck, OP. <laughs> Moving on. Have this dream in a factory. Typical wacky dream shit going on. Go through the back door of the factory. Walk out into a sort of Disney cartoon. A bit like on Who Framed Roger Rabbit when Valiant is in Toontown. It's kind of what it feels like to be on LSD, honestly. <laughs> Not just stay tuned. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, not after 12 hours. It has this weird sort of opera choir kind of music in the background, but it's really foreboding and eerie. Whole place feels foreboding and eerie. Start panicking. See phone booth. Use phone booth. Call myself to come rescue myself. Wake up sweating. Time to get up anyway. Go downstairs. See, I have a message on the answering machine. Play the message. It's the same music. From the dream. And someone's talking, but you can't make out what's being said. Message was received just before I woke up. Dude, I got goosebumps right now. <laughs> this is scaring the shit out of me. Maybe I called my house phone with my mobile while I was sleeping, like some sort of muscle memory thing. 
although that wouldn't explain the background music. Remember, my mobile was downstairs charging the whole night anyways. Link related, it's the voicemail. Do I dare look it up? <laughs> TLDR, I called myself from a dream, I think. Okay, I I'm gonna give it a little bit of a listen. Dude, that is really horrible to listen to it. It goes on for a full minute. I can't play the full minute. <laughs> I can't even listen to the full minute. It's super uncomfortable, but there is a weird sort of rhythm to it. It sort of reminds me of Nero's Day at Disneyland. That really is just an absolutely terrifying post. This came from X, didn't it? God, X has got some good stuff. If you like some more good stuff, go check out Dayton Dies, my creepypasta channel. We just posted a new part of the Pizza Pete saga, so go check it out, I implore you. Nice, it's creepy, we get a plug in there. Perfect, I think we're moving on. <laughs> Write a novel about the people he hates being punished in hell. Writes himself as the Chad, who's watching everything while eating popcorn. Becomes a classic of all-time literature. Is this the most based man in history? Was this like Dante's Inferno or some such? I ain't even sure, so I'm just gonna say, yeah, totally. <laughs> Whatever you talk about, that's crazy, bro. Uh, Australia had a rabbit plague in the mid-1800s. They tried a variety of methods to get rid of them. Eventually, they got desperate and switched to the unconventional. They made fake rabbits that were more attractive than the real rabbits. The ones attracted to the fake rabbits didn't breed, and the population was thus reduced. That feel when they're doing it with people now. That feel when I figured out why anime girls exist. The scary part is, from what I've seen, it's working. I mean, sure, it's working, but it's working within the correct section of the population, depending on who you ask. <laughs> so, I guess it can't feel too bad. And the human population, it's way too much anyways. Come on, man. I'm fully on board with this plan. I mean, conspiracy. Conspiracy. It's just a conspiracy theory. <laughs> uh, BB! 18, Christmas time. Extended family staying over. And I'm sleeping in my parents' bed since my mom is out of town. Oh, no. <laughs> More gay posting. <laughs> mom won't be back till 5 or 6 a.m. since she's picking up my aunt from the airport. Dad gets home from the bar at about 3 a.m. Lights are all off. My dad is extremely drunk. I've got a blanket over me, laying in his bed half asleep. <laughs> no. Uh, do I even need to finish it? Maybe it won't be too bad. If there's no actual penetration, we'll do it. If there is, well, one of these episodes is going to be Patreon only. <laughs> hey, join up on the Patreon too, thanks. So yes, Dad mumbles about his night and lays next to me. He puts his arm over me, thinking that I'm Mom. <laughs> For some reason, I don't say anything. Dude, that's... <laughs> Already, why? I don't know, man. You've been seeming sus lately. He reaches under the blanket and up my shirt and grabs my man tits. <laughs> I'm chunky, so they must be similar to Mom since he didn't notice at first. Are they at all hairy? How drunk is he? <laughs> I realize how fucked up this is, but I'm still too scared to say anything. You better say something soon, son. <laughs> it's not too late. Dad has arms around my waist and scoots into me. I can feel his bone. <laughs> he starts snoring and is just completely out, and I sneak out of his arms and back downstairs. Decide to go to sleep on the old rocking chair. This was never spoken of again. Oh, thank God for that. It took some twists and turns, but we all got out unscathed, relatively, maybe mentally a little scarred, it's fine. Dad was drunk enough to not remember, OP is old enough to, well, have a way to deal with it. Probably by trying on one of his mom's miniskirts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll move on into the next one, I guess. January 28th, Chiefs get a miracle final touchdown that wins the game. Camera immediately cuts to Taylor Swift's reaction. Oh, this is having to do with all the Taylor Swift AI stuff that went on recently. 
If this doesn't end with some group banging, I'm gonna be severely disappointed. <laughs> Everyone starts doing the surf and swag. Camera follows Taylor as she runs onto the field into Travis Kelce's arms. Travis gets down on one knee and proposes with his Super Bowl ring. Jason Kelce comes out on the field and announces, I, I feel a song coming on. Entire Chiefs team gets in formation with Taylor and starts singing all too well, the 10 minute version. 1.3 billion views on YouTube. NFL reposts the event every day for the next three months. Hallmark ass ending. Well, first of all, I think he's talking about the Super Bowl, which doesn't happen until, well, today. Do you guys know that? <laughs> I completely forgot. I hope you are enjoying the celebration if you do decide to participate. Although I don't think there's that many sports ball people among my fan base. Anyway, we'll see how it goes, I guess. <laughs> uh, who cares? Don't affect me. I'm in the Philippines. <laughs> this is a completely different culture. Uh, anyway, next post. Be me. Drinking vodka and singing old Irish songs with friends. I end up passing out. Wake up to my phone stolen and my wallet empty. Call friends with my home phone. Hey, yeah, man. Sorry about that. We're playing poker and you lost him to John. I'll give him a call. Then John calls me. Hey, Anon. You want your shit back? I know you're pretty drunk and all. I get my money and my phone back. My face when I'm a respected part of a friend group. Does feel pretty good, doesn't it? But also, I hope you learned a lesson about gambling, especially while drunk. Don't do it. That's what they want you to do? Don't do it. <laughs> Here's a picture of Gabe Newell, now looking like Santa Claus. Jesus. I'm sort of shocked he's still alive, big as he was. But yeah, money works miracles, I guess. <laughs> I just bought a baboon heart. <laughs> uh, uh, so Gaben does nothing. Competition just keeps shooting themselves in the foot. What is this business strategy called? Monopoly. I mean, he made a service that does what it does and arguably is the best at doing what it does. It's getting a little more bloated and funky than it was 10 years ago, but Steam, yeah, still probably the best platform to compile a collections of games that you don't actually own. <laughs> anyway, uh, B15, at home, a few days before my birthday. Mom uses my PC, lots of RAR files, opens one up. WinRAR appears, saying that the license expires in 40 days. Mom takes notice of this, buys me WinRAR for my birthday. Best birthday ever. You are a WinRAR. <laughs> Honestly, that's nice. Mom's trying to make the connection. You get a legitimate copy of WinRAR. Those exceedingly generous developers win. The world got just a, a couple of shades brighter that day, you know? Good for you, Anon. Be me in high school. Have a female friend who I have a crush on. Never really able to ask her out. But I'm really randy one night, and she's texting me and jokes about sending me some nudes. Ends up faking out and laughing about how she probably just blue-balled me. Says she's going to bed. I need to coom. So hard! I don't think you understand the difference between a need and a want. <laughs> Although this is more, more close to a need than a lot of other wants. <laughs> Decide to go into the bathroom and take my pants off. Angle my camera at my butt and get a photo where it kind of looks like someone else's butt. What? No, dude! Oh, dude, this is, <laughs> this is the saddest thing ever. <laughs> we have a similar skin tone, so this might work. I photoshopped the picture of my butt into a photo of her texts as if she just sent me her butt. <laughs> God. <laughs> this ain't real. Come on, dude. Bro, this is not real, dog. With the Photoshop and everything. <laughs> Start jerking to it, blow that load, and pretend that I complimented her butt. To this day, I can't get over this experience. She's married with two kids now, and I can't believe I stroked it. To my own ass. <laughs> we do a lot of crazy things when we're younger, okay? I'm telling you, the hormones get a hold of you. It's a hell of a thing. One thing that I can say for you is at least you feel some shame from this experience, you know? <laughs> so use that, build on it, and, and let's grow together. Anyway, uh, thug life. <laughs> Walk in the gym wearing tiny 80s shorts and a fake mustache. <laughs> See 9.5 out of 10 girl running on treadmill with iPod on. Walk up to her, motion for her to take her earphones out. Tell her she's alright looking, but not really my type. 
<laughs> walk away and leave the gym, hang out in my car in the parking lot, flying my RC helicopter all over the place. Girl walks out, do 30 mile per hour flybys inches above her head, and chase her running and screaming to her car. <laughs> Drink the rest of my Nesquik and head on home. <laughs> Uh, you are my hero. I hope this is a cutscene they drop into GTA 6. <laughs> it's like so outlandish. I, I can hardly believe it happened in real life, but although 4chan posters are a different breed, and even if it is just a, a dream, a hallucinatory fantasy, at least it seems like a really fun one. <laughs> or funny one. Uh, all right, next pose. Here's a no text post with a Discord logo and a soy jack. Hating something because normies used it. Do you hate your mom, too? <laughs> kind of a sick bird, honestly. Discord has gone downhill in a lot of ways, but hey, I still like kicking it in the Red X Discord some Tims. Come on through. Discord.gg slash Red X, or use the link in the description if you don't want to type stuff. <laughs> I get that, too. Thank you to Anon for the sick burn, and also for letting me get a plug-in. <laughs> We're moving on. Be me recently. We're a construction job in a major city. All the guys go to the club on the weekends. Join in for once. We meet a group of ladies who are in town and they're flirting us up all night. Things are getting kind of freaky. As one of the girls asks me if I want to go back to her room. Tell her that I've got a micro peen and jokingly say, But you know what they say about us micro boys? Great tongue and finger action. Somehow this worked and I got laid. <laughs> Could barely penetrate, but uh, she helped me finish. Having confidence really was the key all along, wasn't it? Fuck! Well, yeah, duh, you think people are just saying it for their health, but don't regret the past. Now move forward with this new knowledge and, and live your best life. Now you can follow your micro peen to the ends of the earth. <laughs> if you're reading something, you probably want to stop now, because we're headed into the next post, and literally it's one of the worst green texts I've ever read. <laughs> uh, try to take a crap. No crap comes out. Giant hemorrhoids poke out of my anus. Practically crapping out my intestines, yet no poop is coming out. <laughs> Feels so good. Sometimes I touch it and rub at the giant protruding tube coming out from my butt. <laughs> oh God. Uh, and then the reaction image is just... <laughs> it, it, it's horrible. But it's so perfectly paired. Please never tell me about any of this ever again, okay? <laughs> Please! I mean, I guess as, as long as we're descending down to the darkest depths, I'll show you guys another one that popped up on my feed this week. Uh, with the same woman for seven years, things are going great in our relationship. Married with one kid, our sex life is great. The money, it's great. She's happy every day. Constantly buy her gifts, take her on vacation, spoil her to the max. Love my family and find peace in it. Three weeks ago, she starts acting weird. Starts being quiet and distant. Starts to ignore my texts. Does this not put you on red alert? <laughs> she tells me she deleted Facebook. I ask if she's okay, which is ignored. Dude, now nah, fuck this. We're gonna have a, a firm conversation about where the future of this is headed. You want to be with me anymore? You don't? Okay, get the fuck out. Anon continues, I offer to pay for her therapy if she's depressed, to take her on a date or go on a trip, anything to cheer her up. She says, no. Fast forward to Thursday, I come home, she isn't there. Her stuff is gone too. Same with my child. Call her a dozen times with no answer. Finally, hours later, I get a call from her. She explains to me that she started dating someone else while I was out working, and she wants to give him a chance. I mean, after seven years, that's gotta hurt, but in a certain type of way, you can take a lot of pleasure in the fact that eventually she'll find out that he's just sort of a, a snaky dude. Sure, he said all the right things, but he's not gonna provide the things that I provided, so... <laughs> good luck, bye-bye. I'll see you in court for custody of the kid. Anon says that she says that she needs some time away from me. And when I start to cry, she tells me, we're not doing this right now, and hangs up. How'd you date her for seven years and not realize that she's just this much of a bitch? <laughs> you must have known that was inside. You should have made a contingency plan. 
I'm suspicious that she blocked me on Facebook, so I make an alt account. I found her profile, and I was correct. Same guy I never met before is liking all of her pics. Message him and ask him to please leave my family alone. That I just miss my wife and child. He blocks me immediately. I thought I was a good man. With a happy family, the light has been shot out of my life. I've been crying for three days straight to the point where I throw up. I can't eat. I can barely sleep. Why does this shit happen? I just want my family back. Cuss me real deep. Cuss me real deep, you know? But things like this do happen. It's a lesson hard learned, but you have no choice but to roll with the punches. It's like the late, great Patrice O'Neill once said, you never love somebody 100%. I'll give you 95%, but I gotta keep 5% of that love for myself. Just in case it all does go to shit, you know? I am sorry that you invested so much in this woman who clearly took advantage of you. But the day will come when, when she crawls back, <laughs> when she realizes that this guy don't do as good as you, and you should relish that. Even if she never comes back, just, just be secure in yourself and know that you can do better than her. You really want the kid? Go to court. Alright, I'm glad I can patch your life back together and on. <laughs> good luck out there, buddy. And now we go from a short story about a relatively normal guy with a relationship to a guy who will probably never have a relationship. <laughs> I've learned to stop allowing the desire for boom boom and women to control my thought processes and actions. Yeah, that's how most people operate, I think. <laughs> I've done this by just realizing that women are just people, like anyone else. <laughs> you don't say. This is a revelation for him. And the sex they offer me comes with the cost of dealing with their deeply flawed personalities. Pot, meat, kettle. <laughs> Not to mention the time and money investments. The way they talk, smell, feel, etc. is very nice. Almost euphoric at first. <laughs> euphoric? Uh, but the realization that they're ordinary people who paint their face on every morning and who seethe if you disagree with their political or spiritual beliefs and who can't entertain conversation or hobbies deeper than celebrity gossip or hot chip flavors all hits very quickly yes i assume you know this uh from real life experiences from all the women that you've had <laughs> your perspective of an, an entire gender has been painted by living online and it's not a healthy thing or not <laughs> i don't know why you're doing this to yourself Having a wife or girlfriend is only slightly different from needing to take care of a child. Except society forces us to pretend that women are our equals. Now I have both a wife and kids, and let me tell you there are some distinct differences between both of them. <laughs> wife is, is partner, is other half. Yes, children, they're basically little people that you can hang out with sometimes. But you gotta take care of them, make sure they don't die. <laughs> My wife is like completely self-sufficient, keeps the house running smoothly. We have a, a very strong partnership, and I think partnership is, is the magic sauce that this OP will just never understand. <laughs> then a female Anon steps in and says, realizing women are just people like anybody else. Do Moids really think that this is some kind of profound thought? We've been saying this since women's suffrage, for fuck's sake. I don't know, man. Seems pretty obvious. We're not completely equal in a lot of ways, but that's a good thing. Wifey need me do strong people thing. I need her do smart people thing. You know? <laughs> it's the division of labor. Whatever. Anyway, 4chan weirdos being 4chan weirdos. We'll move on into the next post. This one's tangentially related, too. Movie about women's empowerment. A male supporting actor is the only one nominated for the Oscar. <laughs> Women bros. I still haven't seen the movie, still can't comment on it, but yeah, that fact is hilarious to me. <laughs> uh, here's one from R9K, happiest I've ever been. I'm the happiest that I've ever been in a long time. Be me, two days ago, late night, get back from D&D &D session with friends at the library, nerd.ovf, enjoyed some bourbon over the course of the past five-ish hours, call up a girl that I've been talking to for months, we talk a bit, but uh, we've both been busy. We talk about life and the struggle that that is. Nine out of ten, cutie pie. Stay on the phone way longer than expected. 
Before hanging up, I tell her I love her, and I'll talk to her later. Time skip. Be me yesterday afternoon. Get back from study session for 4,000 level class. Kill me now, dot JPEG. Get signal message from the girl. We use Signal because iPhone to Android messaging sucks, and also I'm kind of paranoid. Says she wants to talk to me about something. Says it's nothing bad. Heart skipping dot wave. Uh, sure. What's up? She's typing. So what are we now? Friends or boyfriend, girlfriend? No way. No fucking way. <laughs> Tell her to call me when she can. She calls. Mutual confession. Literal tears and smiling like idiots on both sides of the phone. We are now officially in a relationship. Hang up the phone and scream for joy so loud that my roommates think I broke several bones. <laughs> Literally shaking with joy. The feeling of it is coming back when I type this. My face when life is coming together and it has brightened up everything I've been doing so far. There's light at the end of the tunnel, robots. Get out there. Talk to folks. You'll find whoever you're looking for. Well, Adon, just don't forget to bathe and keep the anti-Semitism under your hat. Maybe, maybe just get off 4chan for the duration of the relationship and see how that goes. <laughs> I don't know if coming back to r can It's nice to offer hope to people. But yes, don't stay too long near the crab pot lest you get sucked back in. The only thing a crab is good for is holding back other crabs. A crab don't want to see another crab make it. Ah, the video really feels complete when I can get a Boondocks reference in there. <laughs> uh, well, we'll do a few more just for fudsies. How about another heartbreaking betrayal? Dating girlfriend for five plus years. She started getting into CrossFit. Three days a week turned into five days a week. Got engaged. CrossFit turned into a desire to do competitive weightlifting. Honestly, loved her gains. She looked great. Suddenly, she stops going to the gym. She didn't really like the staff or facilities. Dropped everything after a year and a half of pretty serious dedication. Yep, something sus right there. <laughs> Five months before the wedding, she couldn't live with her guilt. She was sleeping with a guy from her gym. She got banned from the gym for what I assume was banging inside of the gym. That was her wake-up call. She was nervous about getting married, which is why she did it. Fucking over. Such bull- Yeah, absolutely. Good enough for respecting yourself to, for walking away. Again, at least you found out before you got married she took half your stuff, you know? <laughs> There's always an upside. The grass is always green or over the septic tank, right? <laughs> or a rotting corpse, or what have you. Eventually she'll figure out that, hey, this ain't all it's cracked up to be, but it'll be too late. Rest in piss. <laughs> be me. 11 years old, fat 15 year old high schooler, looks like Eric Cartman, asked me to come to his house. I say yeah and ask my mom. Mom says no. Feels bad, dot PNG. Four years later, realize that I was almost assaulted intimately. My face when dun dun dun. I mean, that's quite a stretch. <laughs> but sure, yes. He definitely didn't just need a second person for Mario Kart. He wanted to put a wiggle worm in your bum bum. <laughs> Whatever, man. Oh, I like that super rare spider Pepe and this spider appreciation thread. <laughs> Be me. 2016, live in a small town. Three year long relationship with girlfriend just ends. Fell out of love for me and left me for someone else. See, this Anon is not letting it crush. He kept 10% of that love for himself. Did I say 5%? Well, keep 20% just because. <laughs> to save her own reputation, she lies and says that I was abusive to her. That way, her new boyfriend didn't home wreck a long term relationship. He saved her instead. My reputation begins to tank. Everyone in town starts to believe that I'm the guy that she says that I am. I can't even buy food anymore without running into issues. Damn, dude, compared to the previous post, this OP's really holding it together. <laughs> he kept 60% of that love for himself. But he still wants to serve up some piping hot revenge, I'm sure. Uh, Nan says, luckily, I work out of town, so I was able to keep my job during all of this. Suddenly, idea.jpg. Drive out to the woods. Begin catching venomous spiders. <laughs> Release them around now ex's home. 
Look at her socials every day to see if she mentions the spiders, and I do this for years. Now X has a kid with her new boyfriend. Finally see posts mentioning the spiders that I'd been releasing for years now. Oh my god, <laughs> this is dastard. This is super villain stuff. And he did it for years? I take it back. I don't know if he's dealing with it as well as some other people dealt with it. <laughs> uh, a child is now in the hospital due to a spider bite. Damn. Also mentions how much money her and her new boyfriend spent on exterminators. Posts that she plans on moving. Actually does and leaves town. Fast forward to now. People are starting to forget the bullshit that my ex would constantly fill their heads with. I can actually leave my home now to run errands or other stuff and not run into any drama. Thank you, spider bros. <laughs> that is that is horrifying to me. But yeah, you put in the work, they put in the work. That's the division of labor. I mean, if you're willing to do that, if you're willing to poison their child, then something tells me that, like, a, a bit of abuse isn't too far out of Anon's wheelhouse, you know? <laughs> He's sort of obsessive, and, and then I, I went to bat for him on the first page. I really regret that. What a horrifying degenerate. <laughs> uh, you could have just moved on. You spent those years finding something better, but y he obsessed. Just, wow, lot to unpack. <laughs> uh, but I don't have time, so our next green text is about PAL World! Hey! We opened up a Red X PAL World server if you'd like to play on it. I'm gonna have Elijah put the IP and password in the video, and I'll also pin it in a comment. And if you have PAL World, come on through and play. I said it in North America, so my ping sucks, but like, most of my people are from North America, so... That's why that choice. I really hope to see you there. Anyway, don't touch my stuff. <laughs> Uh, uh, development equivalent of pocket change for a budget. Team didn't even know basic development terms. They learned as they went. Found a gun enthusiast at a gas station, threw everything at the wall, and made a complete embarrassment out of Game Freak. You know, <laughs> Pokemon's been sitting high on its throne for a little too long. I played through Scarlet and Violet. I did it on my Twitch channel, which I don't use all that much anymore. But if you did want to follow me, hey, twitch.tv slash Dayton does. God, we're getting a lot of good plugs in here, ain't we? <laughs> uh, Pal World is amazing, though. Of course Nintendo's mad. That's like the most profitable IP ever made. But Pal World built on top of what they did, what other people did, made it different and good, and yeah, I, I'm definitely hooked. So come on out, witness me being hooked if you should like. <laughs> we can even invite you to a, a guild or something. But right now I think it's only me, Code, and Snary who are on the server. So come give us some company, huh? With all that said, here's another post. Be me, 12. Walk to school every day through the park. There's a small water feature there that I like to admire when I have the time. One day, standing by the water, suddenly receive a sharp shove into my lower back. Stumble forwards into the water, soaking my shoes and socks. Look around to see Johnny from my class laughing at me. Save as C slash core memory slash rage and humiliation dot mp4. Spend all day with wet socks and shoes. It's the worst day of my life. <laughs> Fast forward 25 years, walking through the same park one evening. See a guy admiring the water. Holy shit. I think that's Johnny. There's no one else around. I have a mind for mischief. <laughs> Can we confirm it's Johnny first? <laughs> Quietly sneak up behind Johnny, look down at his lower back, smile to myself at my beautiful revenge. I cannot resist. Snatch out my concealed carry and put four rounds of hollow points into him. <laughs> uh, hear my own screams of primal fury as the gunshots ring out across the park. <laughs> He collapses into the water. The water splashes back, soaking my socks and shoes. <laughs> uh, the, the last revenge of Johnny. This is just like last time. I flee the park with wet shoes and socks, trying to hold back my tears. Fuck my life, Anons. I just can't freaking win. Damn, that's rough, bro. Seems like justice was served all around. Honestly, it would have been better if, like, suddenly the body disappeared and I read out the first letter of every sentence and it said, like, his name is John Cena or something. 
I think like true shit posting is becoming a lost art. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to bring it over on YouTube. Revive it a little bit. Um, <laughs> anyways, here is the start to an R-tarded stories thread. Be me, second year of college, live in apartment, 10 minute walk from campus. Chilling in apartment, stomach grumbles. Exit room to use bathroom, hear shower running in bathroom. Guess my roommate's in the bathroom, no big deal. He should be out soon. I return to my room and go back to watching YouTube. 40 minutes later, stomach again. Go back into living room. Bathroom's still locked. Shower still running. Okay. Maybe he just got in when I first checked. Surely he'll get out of there soon. Back in room, trying to ignore worsening stomach pain. Uncomfortably make it through the next 30 minute video. Another rumble in the jungle. <laughs> Roommate is still in the shower. It's coming. Performing mental calculations at the speed of light. I can't make it to campus. Maybe I could make it to the coffee shop at the end of my street if I sprint, but there's like a 50-50 a chance that I shit myself on the way. <laughs> T minus 10, nine, eight. Desperation.jpg. Sudden idea. Quickly unroll a trash bag, drop my pants, and squat. <laughs> Unleash a solid two pounds into the thin plastic that shields the floor from a spray of hot doo-doo paste. <laughs> uh, first, thank God that I keep TP in my room, and second, ask God for forgiveness. <laughs> Forgiveness shall not come, my child. Try to ignore the steam wafting out of the bag <laughs> as I use the entire roll of TP to clean shrapnel off of my legs. <laughs> God! Uh, how did he even get on your leg? No, wait, don't tell me. I go throw the bag in the dumpster outside and just think about my life choices. <laughs> my face when I could have walked to campus and back an hour ago. My face when my roommate didn't get out of the shower for another hour on top of that. My face when I just shit in a bag because my roommate decided to take a two hour nap in the bathroom. I don't think two hour naps are normal with the shower on. <laughs> Is he like super drunk or something like that? I don't know, it's college. It's a weird time. Now you got a story about how you pooped in the bag. In the moment, sure, terrifying. With hindsight, hilarious. <laughs> so thank you for sharing. And thank you, friends, for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe if you did. You can support me on Patreon with the YouTube memberships. Thanks to everybody who has done exactly that so far. But you know, a little more scratch never hurt nobody. <laughs> on the end card, I got some more 4chan green text if you like these. I hope that you will always remember, friends, that you are loved, you are worthy. You definitely, definitely deserve it. And I shall see you in the next one. So until then, bye-bye. Cut him open. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine.